this must cause the right reactions. I want my voice. And beloved church of God, if there's going to be revival in this nation, we need people that will blow the seven trumpet everywhere with the right sound. Your sound is not my sound. Father, in the name of Jesus, can you lift up your voice and say, Lord, whatever is available in this generation, Lord, let me <laughs> have access to demonstrate it. Let it be let it be manifest in my life. Let my life demonstrate its working, workability, its availability. And let my experience demonstrate that these things are in the name of Jesus. And I remember starting this program by keep saying that test it. How many people hear me saying that? Do you remember one of the Q&A sessions I said, can you just test it? Can you tell God something that you wish? Can you just test it? Test it. Test it. Test it small and measure it so, so that your confidence will grow in it. And it will not just grow because they said. It will grow because you know. Because they said can't carry you far. Right. Eh? And don't just do things because, you know, it's not they said. You know. Yes, Test it. Test it and it works. I have tested things. I have tested with 1,000. I have tested. <laughs> I have tested scripture. And it worked. Scripture, not just uh, somebody, man of God, saying, if you give me 1,000, uh, you will. And that's that one. That one is not scripture. Eh? Scripture is different from a uh, pastor. Scripture is the one that is, the Bible says, the word of the Lord is tried seven times. So before they deployed it, it's already tested. Eh? And it has been proven that it is working. So, you know, goods but in good condition cannot be returned. So, and it does not return. This one, even if you want to return it, it does not, it, the capacity for it to return has been disabled. It does not return void. It does not return void. This thing is working. This Bible, if you see any scripture in this Bible and you take it word for word and you put your leg in it, it is working. If it is not like that, then it is not dependable to follow. So we have looked at giving. And first thing we are going to start looking at is the relationship between giving and receiving. Class is just starting. All right? The relationship between giving and receiving. So let's let's look at it. Uh Second Corinthians chapter 9 verse 10. Let's read it. One to go. Now he that ministered seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruit of your righteousness. So he ministers seed uh, and then he ministers bread for food. Seed for sowing, bread for, for eating, for food. And he, because he does that, he multiplies your seed sown not your seed eating it does not multiply your seed eating it multiplies your seed sown but he he ministers seed he also ministers bread he gives seed tap your neighbor say he gives seed and one of the things we need to know that whether you know it or not god gives seed the knowledge only helps you to separate the seed from the bread. Because if you don't know, you just take everything that God gives as bread. So everything that God gives is in two dimensions. He gives seed because he wants to give bread. He gives seed and is consistent in all his ways. Because if you look at that seventh year of Jubilee, uh, uh, Sabbath, what he said is that they will not sow. But by the time the Sabbath is coming to an end, he said <coughs> he will give them, you know, they will now sow. So they will have seed to sow for the 
next year that they will not eat the harvest. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Because whatever <coughs> you, if you don't, it, 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 it's what you sow that you will reap. But he told them to consider the beds of the air. They don't reap, but because they don't reap, they, they, they don't sow, they don't also reap. Your father feeded them directly. So there's another system of feeding that is separate from sowing and reaping. There is a, my father feeded them, uh, uh, that gave them food directly. There is, a, there is a sowing, reaping situation. But if you don't sow, you don't reap. So harvest is not for people that don't sow seeds. They can enjoy the mercies of God that comes with the, what is good. It says God is good to the wicked and to the good alike. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? So it's not like uh, he's stranded because he can't help you because you did not sow seed. Do you understand what I'm saying? But there's a dimension that is called harvest. Harvest, the way to access harvest is to sow seeds. Where do the seeds come from? From God. So if you are very poor, and God, Lord, raise me. God, raise me financially. God, raise me financially. God, raise me financially. What does he do? What does he do to you? He gives you what? Seed. Seed can come in terms of fun. Seed can come in terms of an idea. Seed can come in terms of a service. Seed can come in form of instruction. But as long as seed is, is not something you eat. But sometimes he gives you bread that has seed inside. <clears throat> and you need to discern how to read. But if you are living a life that you are not, by now, everybody following this class should be should have had an upgrade in living. Yes, eh? This kind of... Eh? Yes, <laughs> Because that's the only hope for a bright tomorrow. A tomorrow that you wake up every morning and harvest, 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 harvest is preceded by a, a, a today that you wake up every morning and you understand what I'm saying. And you know, when they are coming back, you, you are like, ah, ah, hey, 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 hey. Somebody was telling me yesterday that he uh, brought uh, the last then the last time he was carrying one uh, twi- uh, one brand new almost brand new car too. Uh, that when I say brand new, I mean a, a, a 2019 car in 2019. So he said he carried to this man of God and all that, and he bought two, one for him, one for his wife. Ah. So I said, who bought it? He mentioned the name of the person. I said, yeah. These guys, part of their covenant in business is to be changing the cars of these people every three years to modern car. That's what they are trusting God for billions for. That's why they are trusting, that's why they are setting up companies. So that they will have enough to do this. So that somebody tells me that a church is burnt and I can say, bring my checkbook. Write off the, 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 the land beside them. Let them start building. Supply 5,000 bags of cement. They say cement is 6,500. And so what? Some believers need to start thinking like that because if you put covenant inside your business, the business starts becoming a channel that w- money that is available. You know, you know, you know, it's called money laundry. <laughs> Let him that hear me understand where well. it's called money laundry. What, 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 what happens is that there is money, but we need an avenue. To push it out legally. Yes, sir. <laughs> this one is not illegal money. So it's not money laundering illegal. This is, there is resources. Heavens have gold. Resources. But we need avenues to push it out legally. So somebody's business who is in covenant with our purpose for pushing it out. Do you understand what they do when they want to launder money? They say, actually, the money 
is is for Ministry of Finance, but we want to move it into Mr. Kolobo's account. So the Ministry of Finance, a company will stand up and collect a contract from Ministry of Finance to the tune of 25 billion. That is actually a contract that can be done with two billion. They're not nice, so they, they, they don't they don't move it near the money at all. Two billion, twenty-five billion. So the Ministry of Finance, because the Ministry of Finance is Mr. Kolobo's Ministry of Finance, quickly satisfy all the money. Everything signed out. The money comes out to do the contract. But the contract is given to the contractor because of the covenant. Hey. You will say, excuse me, sir, I can do that thing better. You say, my guy, we know. <laughs> it's not about you. It's, you are not, it's not about the job. It's about where the money is going. He says, sir, if you give us this contract, my company, we have experts in building bridges. We have built 5,000 bridges in America. I sometimes say, yes, yes. This, 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 this contract is deployed for covenant. So say, but we have qualified more than that company. Why did they give that company? Say, because you don't have covenant with us that that company has. It's coming back to us. But you. <laughs> so we need Christian businessmen who know how to receive. And you can test it with five loaves and two fishes. Say, this, this business is so small. But I want to plug it into covenant. I want it to take care of this. You know my regular word, test it. Yes, eh? yes. Test it. Test it. Say God, let's turn it and they, they will they will test it too. Because this kind of covenant, they will ask you to perform first. And when they see you will just see some things start coming your way, start coming your way, start coming your way. And you know that it is to facilitate covenant. You will eat all. Because the, the bread will be past the seed. God is in charge of that one. The bread is always bigger than the seed. You will eat, you will buy cars, you, but your joy will also be coming from Lord, my God. So I've enjoyed myself before. I don't have to share some of these testimonies, but I'm telling you, I've, I have pushed the bar. And I've seen that. Ah, ah it worked. Though. I push it again. It worked. I push it again. It worked. And it's still working. And I'm just saying that. Ah, ah, I push this thing. It worked. Okay, let's push it for that. It worked. Ah, ah. Okay, let's push it for that. It's still working. I'm going to say, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Push it. So the limit to which I am experiencing it is the limit to which I was able to push. But I cannot push if I did not start pushing. That's deeper. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you don't just wake up now and say, I'm going to give my whole salary, my girl, my guy. You are pushing. You are, you are, you are, pu <laughs> you are pushing. You are, you are pushing. You are pushing what you don't know <laughs> on a high scale. He said, we, 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 we worship what we know. Yes, sir. You must know. Because no one has to be involved. You must know it. So to know it, you can know it. You can know divine healing, gift of healing with headache. You can know it. You don't, you may not start with cancer. Huh? So that it's not be as if as when you are not praying for the person, when the person die. I hate that police station. <laughs> you know it. See, the ease with which I have prayed for people over the years have changed. The ease, the confidence. I've changed. The confidence is built. Yes. 
You see somebody just say, bring that crippled person, bring that person, bring that person out now. He's going to walk now. You're like, ah, ha, ha, why did he call the person out? Ha, what if the person did not walk? Why is that? You are amazed. Go and watch the miracles of A.A. Ale. They read the case. Is that, they are lining up. It's not as if they, they, they read the case. They read the case that this one has not, the, he has a liver and there's a infection. Something has not been able to stand up and for the past six months and saying, all right, what's your name? My name is Bo. I said, okay, you know you're going to work now. He said, I know, believe you. Believe Jesus is going to heal you. He said, I don't believe. All right, now I have a last prayer. He's going to work right now. We don't need Jesus. So Jesus, Lord, I'll take our command, our band, our spirit in the name of Jesus. Now, you know what? You get up now and work. There are still 20 people on the queue. So it's not like you have all the time to deal with this one. And the guy will stand up. They will clap for two minutes. They call the next person. And all of them, right in front of camera. So it's not as if you, they, they went to go and do it. And when the thing did not work, they now edit it. It's life. <laughs> Where the So you just think you... He now showed you the scripture. The Bible says Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, forever, is taking your sicknesses on the cross of Calvary, be healed. You too, say Jesus Christ, is yeah, my guy. You have the scripture, but you don't have the confidence. The confidence is built by testing. By knowing, by testing. But you have to build it, otherwise you will never have it. Somebody says, I have migraine. Say, please, can I pray for you? And deploy that same scripture. And please, when you pray for that person, the reason why many times you don't have any results is because you didn't even believe that you prayed. You didn't even believe. You that prayed, you didn't believe. How much the person that you that prayed for? Because if you believe, you will call the person back in the next 20 minutes. Say, how far? The reason why you called back is because you believe. But many times you do miracles, you just say, I believe you have been healed. You never ask the person to check. Because he does nothing to you yourself. You don't even want him to check. <laughs> so we pray for healing. It's nobody. Ch- don't ever pray for healing without asking that person to check. Yes. Check every ma- where they do miracles. They, they don't v- finish that prayer session without saying, now check your body. Start doing it. Because if you don't say that, that means you don't even believe what you said. That means if they told you that they were here, even you would be surprised. Huh? You, you mean it? I can't believe it. You are here. That's why miracles have not been happening in the hands of many believers. Because they don't even believe. In the name of Jesus, receive me. Second scripture. Amen. Amen. Multiply your seed, so and increase the fruits of it. So there's a connection between giving and receiving. It's that connection is that. Then there's another connection that we, we can find in scriptures. Uh, it says in Acts 20, 35, I have showed you all things out that so laboring you might. You ought to support the weak and to remember the words of our Lord Jesus. How, how he said, what did Jesus say? It is more blessed to give than to receive. So when it comes to giving and receiving, which one is has more blessing? Eh? Giving. So a blessed man of God is a giver or receiver. Actually, it's both, but it's more a giver. I said, no, ah, we, we are pastors. We don't do anything. We just receive. Ah, you will be poor. You'll be poor. I tell you, you'll be poor. Anybody uh, having that mindset into ministry is going to be poor. In fact, pastors give more. Because it's the only hope of survival. I tell you. I give. Have I not given you food before? You. Why are you shaking your head? Talk now. Ah, Why are you speaking Queen's English here? No, I'm talking to you. Yeah, you see, she, that one has collected food before. I mean, give. You don't just receive. 
Once you have the mindset of the receiver, receiver, you say, Lord, let somebody just bless me. Let somebody just bless me. Lord, let somebody just, who doesn't know me before, just look at me like this and just give me all this money. You are a bad person. <laughs> you say, let the person just give me. Let them just give me. Let them just give me. Let them just give me. That mindset is bad. You are not seen a pastor tell you, if I bless you in the name of Jesus by, by telling you. The words of the Lord Jesus. You know, when the something said the words of the Lord Jesus, it's not small something. What did the words of the Lord Jesus say? It is more blessed to give. This time somebody beside you, it is more blessed. To give. In the scheme of things, you don't emphasize receiving more than giving. You emphasize giving more than receiving. Because actually, there's a blessing called giving. All right? True, though giving comes before receiving in hierarchy, but it is important to note also that one can have things and not know how to be able to receive them. That's why we want to do this teaching. Also, the relationship between giving and receiving is a cycle by ordinance. Genesis 8.22 says, While the earth remaineth, Seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. What that means shall not pause. In other words, whether you are in the flow or you are not in the flow, the cycle is running. Whether you are inside the system or you are not inside the system, the cycle is running. Let me tell you, many people are not inside the system. But some people are there. Eh? Every day, that's how their life is running. Sit time and have it. Sit time and have it. Sit time and have it. It's like clock. Sit time and have it. Every 24 hours, sit time and have it. Everybody says sit time and have it. 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 Keep saying sit time and have it. Sit time and have it. Sit time and have it. Sit time. Every time. See, when you run that lifestyle, every time becomes sit time and harvest time at the same time. He begins to run. 24 7, 24 7, seed time and harvest time. Say, what time is today? Seed time and harvest time. Is seed time for an harvest time? It is harvest time for a seed time. My God, Jesus. Yes, sir. So that's how we are living. It's not something you just throw your eyes on. I so see. Ah, last year. <laughs> and we have talked about seeds in this place. Yes, sir. Eh? Encouragement. Encouragement. Hmm? It's a seed. It's a seed. It's not just money. Service is a seed. Help is a seed. Household of David reaped from the body of Christ because they have sown into the body of Christ. So, so what does judge if they born? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> <laughs> let me not, let me not, let me not, let me not lie to you. I, don't just think, say, ah, the way they everybody just have this, let us burn our church. If you burn, <laughs> if you burn your church, <laughs> we are, <laughs> it takes a church like that. It takes a church like that. Spend Tens of millions on, on a crusade in a place where you don't have a church, where, you don't, where, where your church, where, even where, where your church is if you, less than 50 people. And you don't never mention your church. Because those were the terms of our contract, and he kept to it. Here, their church are sown to the body. They bought this iPad. For your information. <laughs> and that's one ministry <laughs> that I know. And I cannot count how many millions go into scripture union from that ministry every month. Every year. As you. You can't reap. But they've had all that harvest. But they've not harvested. Because the harvest was piling. (laughs) 
Ah, my God. Some harvest are piling in some of us lives. My God. Some harvest. You know, as I'm talking now, you two you are feeling seeds of years that it looks as if nothing has come out of it. Leave it. Some matured. You know what I just said now? Some matured. Let the thing, like if we faint not. Eh? Let the team mature. Let the team mature. Sometimes when I'm saying seeds that you're not talking money. I'm talking about that place you have stood for people. You have, st- you have a time you have invested in several, several things, and it looks as if nothing. No worry. No aya paradakataya. In all labor, there is profit. Yes, it's a scripture. Carry at me. My God. Labor, any labor, even whether it's secular labor, or what you call, as long as you are doing it with the heart. Oh God, this this principle there. Eh? What do we receive? Now we have been blessed with all manner of blessing in the heavenly places in Christ in all things that pertain to life and godliness. You know that scripture I'm reading now. Eh? But there is a working knowledge as per principles by which the downloading of this is activated and affected in our daily living and experiences. So what do we receive? We receive harvest. The technology for harvest is what? Seed time. All right? That's the technology for harvest. Seed time. That's it. What do we receive? We receive harvest. We also receive promises. Promises ranging from anything God has said. Eh? From health to children to anything, anything is captured in promises. Our inheritance, eh, our divine inheritance, promises. We receive promises. We receive promises. We receive harvest. Eh? We receive harvest is coming from the technology of seed time. But promises is coming from the technology of the word of God, the will of God. What God has, re, re, uh, has committed in his word himself to give us promises. Anytime you ask for something, there's a promise backing the receiving of what you ask for. In the Bible, do you understand what I'm saying? If any two of you, whatsoever you desire when you pray, ask and it shall be granted. This is promise. It's, if they were not sleeping when they wrote it. And the person that said it is not changing his mind. Yes, sir. And he's not denying it. Right. Yes, sir. So he promises. We receive promises, right? Our divine inheritance. We also receive testimony. If I handle this message some years back, some, some maybe even last year, I would not have added this third one. But some people upgraded my knowledge. We'll look at it more properly. So the next thing is, how do we receive these things from God? How do we receive harvest? There is a how. You understand what I'm saying? You can have harvest and not harvest. Are you getting what I'm talking about now? You can have harvest and not harvest. Because when they were... Okay, so when he sent them, when they asked him for bread, and he gave them manna, they didn't know what they didn't know that manna is bread. Do you understand what I'm saying now? So, so you can have harvest. There's a technology to harvest. There's a there's a how. There's a how to you. Ha- oh my God! Mm. Nobody knew that the elder brother of the Buddha girls one wanted cow. Nobody knew that he was eyeing one fat goat inside. Nobody knew. Nobody knew that he was eyeing that thing. Excuse me, who was the owner? Can you have goat and be eyeing it and yet it is yours? Why? He said, the labor of the foolish will yet devour, they know not. How? If that if that guy attended class, faith class, and they taught him, he said, You go and meet your father. Ha! I wish I had one uncle. I just say, 
you like that goat? I see you looking at it. I say, ah, they, they won't give us. I say, hey, do you know that that goat is yours? He said, you mean it? So I say, okay, now, follow me. Just go to your father and say, Father, I want that goat. Come and tell me what will happen. You can say, ah, ha, ah, it's not good, though. Ah, me alone. Go and ask that father for that. Say, ah, try it. If that guy went and said, what happened? I, 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 I want, want to go. Say, you want it? Ah, yeah, immediately. What will happen the next day? You see? Eh? Eh? <laughs> He will, yeah. he will say, hey, daddy, hey, it's not only go to. <laughs> There's that daughter address. There's that. Say, you see, that's why one of the most powerful statements I've said in this training is tested. Nothing emboldens you to access divine promises than the little that you have tested. Oh boy. Once you establish. This thing is working. Ah. And I was teaching this in Lagos. You know, I don't know how many people have followed charging point in Lagos. I said, God told Elijah, I have provided your food with a widow. Now look at that. In farming. The, number one, there is farming. Yes. Number two, even if you are sending me to somebody's house inside farming, send me to in the house of MKO. Oh, Steph, Stephanas. Fortunatus. Those guys. That Paul will see and be happy. Marado <laughs> Shataya. The word of God is sweet, man. Uh, just say, uh, uh, Paul is down. Just see Stephanas. Ah, my God. Stephanas is here. He said, he often refreshed me. Often. Stephanas only for my hand. That's what. <laughs> and you are sending me to the house of a widow in farming. Elijah got there. So you thought Elijah had faith. I thought too. Elijah got there and saw a woman. The, even her shape. Somebody planning to cook her last meal. It's not looking nice. Yeah. It's not doing makeup. Yeah. It's not doing rapper. It's not doing, it's not doing uh, what do you call this uh, special rapper? Are you, eh? Grace, you people. This vet, vet, all this kind. Uh-huh. It's not looking. It's not looking rich. Last meal, and he's not smiling. He said, "Madam, good morning." Good morning. <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> I imagine Elijah say, "Hey, hey, I have we asked for food." <laughs> and Elijah traveled there, so he's likely young. Is the guy is not asking for food because he wants to be nice. He's asking for food because he's needing to. He's hungry, but he did not ask for food. He said, can you get me water? Water. Water. What did they say they gave the woman? Food. What did Elijah ask for? Water. He, he, uh, uh, you, you can't ask for food. Where will you get the boldness to ask a widow for food? Elijah said, can you get me water? You know what he was saying? If this woman can give me water, and guess what happened? Elijah asked for water. And he waited till he saw that the woman was going to go and get the water in farming. Even water is scarce. It's just that food is more scarce than water. In farming, even water is scarce. But the woman was going to get what Elijah said. Hey, it did work, it did work, it did work. It is work, it is work, it is. Hey, my mother, my no be only water, no be water. I need <laughs> actually <laughs> because you can go there and not come again. <laughs> actually, it's not actually water, it's food that I need to eat. But I said water just to, to but, but why when I said water, you were going to get water. Ah, ah. That, means, that means you can get food. I said, I'm food. And the woman said, Ah. That one is hard. He said, my, my, my sister, go and get it. Do my own first. He couldn't have started that conversation from there. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Test it! Hmm? 
Abraham's servant. He didn't start by saying, water the camel. You see a girl and this person say, Madam, can you water this camel? <laughs> what did he say? He said, can you get water? And I said, okay, no problem. And she was going to, fe- a woman doesn't fetch water for man. Check Jacob. Yes, sir. Eh? Check Jacob, check Moses. All this far father is the reverse they used to catch your wife. But this one, I said, can I get water? Fine girl. Sending fine girl errand. Instead of running errand for fine girl. Fine girl, can I get water? I said, okay, no problem. I'll get it for you. And I said, uh, he didn't ask her. He didn't ask her. He was watching. He was watching. And then he said, I will give your camels also. There must be a revelation back in that all. Because the Bible says, I have commanded the widow, past tense. That means the widow, when she saw Elijah, she a command had come before Elijah came. She knew this God is sending somebody that she ought to sow that last meal to. She didn't just see the person until Elijah came and demanded for it. And let me tell you, if Elijah was scared to ask, he would die. Yes. Even though he had food. That's why I had to teach you how to receive. Because God can't help him. You will ask for the food. You say, God, 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 minister to that woman. Let her just give me the food. Let her just say, I have provided the food. You will collect it. I have given you the land of the Amorites, the land of the Israelites, the land. You will go and collect it. I will not collect it for you. They say, God, let them just disappear. <sighs> they will not disappear. You will disappear them. Yes, sir. I have disappeared them from behind. You will disappear them from the... F- sorry, sorry about the English. But you know? Huh? Eh? You have a part to do. Say, ah, God, God, don't do everything for me. So, no, said, yes. That's why everything is not done for everybody because only few people access it. You can have the fatted calf and not know how to get it. And all through your life, you will use your eyes to watch somebody else eat that fatted calf. Because there's a protocol to receive. It's not only good to know how to give, sir. Because you can give and have everything in the store for you. And you don't go and request it for it. There's a protocol to requesting. There's a protocol. Say, ask. And Jesus at the point said, you have neither to for you have not asked me anything. Yes, sir. Then he now said something. He said, ah, ah, ask now that your joy may be full. In other words, without asking you have joy. Let me tell you what I'm talking about here. Without asking, you have joy. There is a joy that is not dependent on asking. There is a joy that is basic. But don't carry basic to heaven, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, some people are having more than this thing, sir. Some people are having more than... I don't people are enjoying this thing now. It's available. You can die without it. And you say, welcome, my beloved server. Ah, uh, well, necessary. I say, ah, well, no. <laughs> I know that you will make it to heaven. The elder brother of the prodigal son was fine. The father had no complaint about him, but he was under under utilizing grace. If he's available. Then let's access it. Carry this Bible and carry it on your head. And say, everything that is here for me. Abba. Ah. Number one, we will read it. That's why you, the first thing, that's why we are doing this course by reading it. Because if you don't read it, you cannot deploy. It says that the, that the, that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened. That God give you the spring of wisdom. That you may, that you may, I may have revelation in the knowledge. The revelation is in the knowledge. The knowledge is in the reading. The revelation is in the knowledge. The knowledge is in the reading. 
The revelation is in the knowledge. And the light is in the revelation. Ah, Jesus Christ. You can read. You can know. It starts with reading. It starts with reading. Man, I read this thing till 2 1 30 a.m. yesterday. We read it, man. We read it. We read, 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 read. Just read. <laughs> read. Is it difficult? Read. It's the Holy Spirit. Put the word in my spirit. Put the word in my spirit. Put, put, put it. Put it. At least we read it for me. At least we read it. Uh, download it. Rabadabash. Rust. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> you will sit down without Tupa. I read this. On toilet, everywhere. You read this thing. Read this. Your part is to read it. Read it. Read it. It's, it's difficult. Read it. It doesn't make sense. Read it. Because knowledge is in the read. Revelation. Is in the knowledge. Light is the revelation. And you need light to conquer darkness. Because the Bible says the light shines in darkness without prayer. And darkness carries its load. Pew, vanish. Because you have light. Darkness recognizes light. Where are we? So there is a way to receive. So we're looking at how do we receive harvest, promises, good report. There's only one way. <laughs> By faith. Yes, sir. The answer to that question, how do we receive, is one, one answer. And that answer is what? By faith. How do we receive? I'm not hearing you. How do we receive? How do we receive harvest? How do we receive promises? How do we receive our inheritance? How do we receive testimony? How do we receive good reports? By faith! There is only one pipe to receive from God. One pipe! By faith. For by it, the elders obtained. Praise God. So you cannot say, I'm a holiness church. I'm not a faith movement. Forget movement. We are all faith movement. Who will not move to call? Who is not moving faith? Ah, no, 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 no. I'm not on our own. Our, and we are not on the word of faith. We are in the discipleship movement. Okay, now. How can you even be a disciple without faith? Because even salvation is received by faith. So let's look at the kind of things these guys received. Hebrews 11. Just carry Hebrews 11 and be looking at it with me. Now start by what is faith. Now faith is the substance of things of for the evidence of things not in it. You have read that one before, so I'm not bothering you. For by it the elders obtained a good report. All right. So one of the first things you are seeing they obtained there is a good report. Uh, but without faith, it is impossible. That is, there is no possibility without faith. When now look at that. Look at that. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. But without faith, <laughs> do, you, do you get what I'm talking about now? Impossibility is not existing in God on the premise of faith. But once you remove faith, from relationship with God, there is, there is possibility, but it is bounded by impossibility. Absence of faith is equal to impossible. Yes, sir. Impossible to possible. Eh. For, without, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. So there is everything inside God is possibility. But the channel to access that possibility is faith. faith. Now, without that faith, faith, it is impossible to access the possible. Yes. Yes. 
that you can be healed from this cancer? Is it possible? In God, is it possible? Without faith. He introduces a word called impossible to access. Impossible to please God. Because he that cometh to God to collect must first fulfill two conditions. Number one, he must believe that, the, that there is God. Then two, he must believe that if he follows the right channel to access him, he is a rewarder of those who access him properly according to the principles. So that guy is also establishing that by learning the principles. The reason why he's learning the principles is because he knows that it is by diligent seeking that he rewards those who seek him diligently. Remove diligent from that verse and it's another scripture entirely. That means anybody that seeks God anyhow, God rewards them. Is that what the Bible says? He said, Baba, I'm sorry. I have been seeking God, seeking God, seeking God. She uh, I did not get. He said, Mm-mm. Let's go back to the scripture. For the eyes of the Lord run through the whole earth, seeking those whose hearts are perfect. Perfect is, uh, yeah. the, the best way to explain perfect is radio tuning. 105.6 is not 105.5. You hear shh, and then you turn your little bit, and then you hear, hey, welcome to work. Where, where you been? Point one. You know what God is saying? When the eyes of the Lord is looking for who to manifest, is looking for people whose heart are not picking any other frequency apart from his own. People who are not looking up to any help from any other place apart from him. People who, if he doesn't help, they are finished. And that's what he says he's looking for. Those who need me with no alternative. They are the ones I'm looking for first. How can I leave people that need me with no alternative and, and go and service people that have alternatives? Perfect. Perfect. Whose hearts are perfect. They rely absolutely on him. And those are the people he's looking for first. Are you getting what I'm talking about here? What did they obtain by faith? Eh? The first thing they wrote there, it said good report. Then they obtained. Then what did they get by faith? He said, uh, following me because I'm, I'm reading it from another place. Ah, how do I split this? Uh... Okay. Uh, by faith, you see, you'll be telling me the verse. Just before, we already did the Holy Bruce 11. He said, by faith, we understand. So what did they get by faith? Understanding. So right understanding. Then he said, through faith, Abel offered. So what do they do by faith? They offered. They offered by faith. They gained understanding by faith. They were able to offer by faith. He said, by faith, Enoch was translated. Well, what did they get, get again by faith? Translation. These things, if it's, as, if it's possible for Enoch, it's still possible to, 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 to today. By faith, Noah prepared. So what did they do by faith? Prepared. Preparation. Preparation. Preparation for your wedding day. By faith, they prepared. Preparation. They prepared. By faith, Noah prepared. By faith, Abraham obeyed. Are you following in the scripture now? I'm jumping. By faith, Abraham obeyed. So they obeyed. How? By faith. By faith, Abraham saw John. They journeyed. By faith. They took trips. How? By faith. You know, somebody was in this class. And God told that. <coughs> she wanted to go to Abuja. And rather than go and take bus. As usual. The Lord told her that she should go to the airport. (laughs) 
And she went. <laughs> you know, it's even, even if you are buying ticket, it's better to buy ticket from home, eh, online, than to go to airport. She said, she went to airport. She said, that, that kind of journey, they don't teach you to pray. Eh? You are a prayer. <laughs> And you are going, because I, the only real sense that you, uh, you are going, <laughs> you just want to where you go and say, I'm, I'm going to Abuja. How? I'm going to pick a flight. Okay, you are going to buy tickets. I shall go to Abuja. Lepro Katosha, where to airport? And he asked, so Where do the Abuja people? <laughs> in this class, so, in this class, so, this class that we have just started, this, this class, especially there's somebody between. He said, I decided to test it. You see what I'm talking about now? You may never know inheritance possibilities in God if you don't put your leg out. She went. He said, she was just saying, ah, Pastor Sheku said. <laughs> Even me, if she asked me, I would tell her not to go to a port. <laughs> you must have heard something. And then she went there. I buy a ticket, she killed. I think it was somebody that just said, where are you going? He said, I'm going to Abuja. On my bill. Now, if they don't tell you these things happen, I've told you, there is everything is available in that place. The only problem is the pipe. There's flight tickets. There's visas. There's money. There's pounds. There's dollars. There's euros. Everything needed to build the temple. Is where? It's there. In the cloud. The only thing is pipe. And you can't just look for pipe and be choking the thing. The, the, you must <coughs> it starts with the will of God. That's why you can say, I receive an airplane now. 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 Which airplane? Which one? They ask you which airplane. It's in the store, but which one? A, a, any airplane. <laughs> They ask you, where is your, where is your approval letter? Where's your letter of approval to get the aeroplane? Say, I approve myself. Say, no. The Bible says, it's angels that are king to his word. In your mouth, oh, but it is his word. They recognize his word. They recognize his command in your mouth. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are the one saying it, too, but it is not your word. You don't say, when you say your word, it doesn't move any angel. But when you say his word, they know his word. They know, ah, the gallows are you. It's not this, ah, oh, bunny, or gallows are you now. This is what God's word. They know his word and they hearken to the commandment of his word. So you don't just bring a up a word and just say, in the name of Jesus, I claim messages best. Oh, what's that nonsense? Who gave you messages? But you can have a husband and not know how to receive him. Because the principles of receiving him on the other side is not the same thing as the principles of receiving him on this side. That's why it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. You don't enter a church and start looking at the choir members. It's not the same. It's not the same. A yama tanga. It's the chief soloist. Praise God. Where did we reach? Abraham journeyed. By faith, Sarah received strength. What did Sarah receive, man? So they use faith to collect what? Strength. You can have it and not know how to receive it. He said, Sarah, you're going to have a baby. <laughs> I say, at 99, at uh, 89, I will I even say I'm doing the 18. She could have ended it up there laughing. But the Bible now told us what she did after laughing. Do you understand what I'm talking about now? This one is not exposed in Genesis. What they told us in Genesis that she did was that what? She laughed. But after laughing. No, you can doubt. You can laugh. Oh my God. After laughing. After doubting. 
These are guys. This be, if all Sarah did was laugh, she would never bat Isaac. Yes, sir. Because I, the principles of bringing Isaac to the earth cannot be violated. She cannot just say, Lord, look, look, okay, you should, I want to bring Isaac. Yeah. Let like Isaac just land. She said, no, 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 no. You will have sex. Eh? Eh? You will get pregnant. Eh? You will carry it for full time. Eh? You will now push. Push. Eh? And you will birth the baby. Eh? <laughs> Let us even birth the baby first. And Sarah laughed the same way anybody will laugh. And she did not laugh out. Because our scripture did not tell us Sarah. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. It needed a spiritual being to pick that laugh. Because when she, she was, they told her, say you laughed. She said she did not laugh. And she was not lying. Because the laugh was inside. But God says, we pick the laugh inside. <laughs> and that's why the person that, you know what I'm saying here? You don't know what I'm saying. Even though, even though, even though, my God, nothing on Sunday and make a douche, the Kali Grizista, Baleto Shata. Why was that discussion holding in a place where Sarah can hear it? It was programmed. Because laughter is the name of the child. Laughter is the name of the child. And it must come from that dimension. So when he, is, when he said you will have a child, the child answered. And God said, you laughed. I didn't laugh. Say, ah. You laughed. And you're laughing on top of your laughing. You will give birth to the laugh that you laughed. Because laughter was already inside. Right. Laughter is inside. It didn't the end there. She stood up from there and received stress. You don't know what that meant. They said, can this company that is almost folding up, can it leave? They said, <laughs> this one. Sir, don't, don't forget it. And after laughing, so God said, I will do it according to the time of life. And then she heard that and said, Ah, if God is serious about this, then Lord, give me the strength. That's what Caleb was asking for at the age of 70, 80, 80 to go and fight war. The only thing that made him to go and fight the war was the word. He said, Look, this, they said they are giving me. It is me. They mention my name. This is customized. Caleb, son of Jephunneh. This is me. They said they are giving. If it is for me, then I and, I and I'm 80. Then I can I have right to collect strength that is not available. So by faith, people receive strength to do what they are not able to do again physically. They received extra strength for it. They received strength for it. <coughs> they received strength. By faith. Sarah received strength. Ah, no. You know, this class is getting long. <laughs> Can we pray in the Holy Ghost for just 20 seconds? La Can somebody tap some strength in this house? Strength to believe God. There are some believing God that needs strength. Hey! Jesus, strength, strength to go again, strength to love again, strength, strength, strength to forgive, strength, strength, strength. We receive strength to pray, strength to seek the word, to, to study the word, strength to strength to labor, strength to continue, strength, strength, oh God, strength, strength when the vision is looking tiring, strength, strength when everything is looking like dumpy, strength, strength to keep it up, strength. 
strength lord physical strength spiritual strength emotional strength oh my god emotional strength 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 to conceive the promise even when all the all the artillery all the equipment have run down strength lord god is saying you will still build a school and strength has deflated strength lord for the promise to be fulfilled in your days strength lord strength lord strength lord when there is no strength strength when there is no strength Sarah receive strength Sarah received she didn't have it before she can't have it she can't have strength to have sex at 89 she can't have strength to carry nine months see are you still doing that you are still in you are still giving birth you are still you have one more to go okay receive strength <laughs> mommy are you still Eh? You are not interested. <laughs> if what if I pray for you now? <laughs> she doesn't even want this strength. <laughs> Imagine carrying a baby at this time of your life. You don't want to imagine it. it's going to scatter too many things. What you are concerned about is that you are even alive and you, are, you don't die in the process. Sarah 89 received what was not available physically from, from the source where all things are available. Yes. Tell somebody Sarah received strength. Yes. How? Ah, this, this message is getting long. Abraham offered. You have looked at offer. Isaac blessed. Eh? How you see, they, if they didn't tell us, we may not have known that Isaac blessed how? How did he bless? By faith. So you like he blessed by faith. If you look at how he blessed, Esau came back and said, Ah, my father, my father, they are stolen the blessing. Ah, Jacob, uh, uh, Isaac said, Ah. Your brother, I have blessed him and he is blessed. I have sustained him with plenty of corn and wine. Sustained him. Past tense. It's just a few minutes. Old. And he said, I have already sustained him and he shall be blessed. He is blessed. In fact, he shall be. He, indeed, he is blessed. He shall have more than you already. He has, he has, I have. I ah, owe the law. And it's just the same but the father is it not just now and say ah, I, that ah, ah, you don't know <laughs> what Abraham gave me what Abraham gave me and he gave all the other children all these things and gave me nothing except that thing and that thing has created everything what Abraham gave me I have given him and he is giving the only way you can get it is to collect free from you. But as far as having it is concerned, Isaac blessed. Jacob also blessed. He said, my father, this is the elder. He said, mm, my son, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. The elder shall serve the younger. It's a prophetic order of the genealogy of the Christ. You don't know. You don't know. Because the flesh comes first. That which is temporal comes first. That which is spiritual is coming later. And the flesh we have to bow down to your spirit. You understand know what I'm saying? You are born physically. That's the elder. He comes first. Then the, the rebutted you is the spiritual you. is coming second. The idea is that the blessing is on the second. 
not on the flesh. So the first must bow to the second. So they are setting an order that there are generations we have to follow. So it's not about a mistake of hand. When he said the elder shall serve the young guy, it's not that uh, it's not just it, the, everything about the old is a shadow of the new. God was setting the pattern for us. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, so that he puts he puts Jacob before Esau, even if he did not sell his birthright, Esau will still come under Jacob by another means. Because the flesh is Esau. That's why Ishmael has to come first. Because it's the same thing. The flesh is Ishmael. The promise is Isaac. That which is temporal has to come first. Delay comes first. Rado, Sita, Lena, Shwata. What you are not going to be comes before what you are going to be. Ha! Jesus! By God. That's why I say it does not yet appear. You know that what you are seeing is not yet us. We are still coming. Ha! <laughs> We are still coming. My God. This barrenness is not who we are. It's coming first. The temporal comes first. But there's somebody coming behind. Who should latch it? Hey, Jesus. Who should latch it? Before Jesus, John must come. But John said, I'm not the one. I don't, I'm, you are, everything is looking fine. As if I'm the one. Say, but <laughs> I'm not the one. You have not yet seen the one. There's somebody coming after me. Yes, sir. Look at yourself and tell yourself. There's somebody. There's a me. There's a me coming after this. Aya! For what? Why we look not at the version that is seen. For the things, the version that is seen is temporal. But there's something that is not yet seen. There's a you that we are not seeing yet. And that's the you that we it will overrun. When that one comes, we will not remember this one. Yes, sir. Amen. The time is coming and you will try to describe yourself, talk where nobody will ever remember that you were once like this. Amen. Stand up. One day, they will be trying to describe you. And if they saw this picture, they will say, can it be? They say, yes, that was him. The song coming after me. The largest of whose shoes I have no idea to enter is greater than I. You want to know what he said? What, what did he say? He said, He must increase. Yes. That one that is inside must increase. This one you are seeing must what? Decrease. It must decrease. Even though this one comes first. Mm. Ah, Jesus. My God, something is happening here. Shells are breaking. My God. Is it not? He said, why have you kept the best wine until now? He said, ah. said this, this is not the way they order it on the earth now. The way they order it is that they normally bring the best wine. I said, no, no, no. There is a spiritual order. Parado se kande le masi krando shtakira bakuria satire. That relationship that broke is the old wine. There's something coming after this. There's something. You may not see it. You may not see. The Bible says they saw it from afar. And they embraced it. By faith, they embraced what their eyes could not see. The Bible says these people lived that they were seeking a country whose maker and builder is God. Something that is not built by the flesh. Something that the human calculation and logistics and arrangements cannot create. There's something coming behind me. So when did they listen, 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 listen. Listen, so when the devil brings opportunities, my God, fire there. When the devil brings opportunities, sometimes when the devil spots that Isaac is coming, he quickly brings Ishmael. My God. My God. My God. One, just a macro course. Pray, pray, please pray. Ada do shatela braste kade da do shate da do shata da de sha raba da vade varade de 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 shata brada da vade sha te kra do shata vade shata vade sha rako pele do sa. Now listen. Now listen. Now listen. Now listen. So when you go down, 
You see, by faith, Moses refused. Because you also need faith to refuse. The devil knows and is master about creating a cheaper, faster method to achieving the promise. To fake the promise. You need faith to refuse. You need sometimes faith to refuse the loan. Hi. Just this one sexual moment and I'll give you this job. Sometimes it's because Isaac is, has been spotted. It came just after the promise was recon- re- reconfigured. With covenant. Genesis 15, Genesis 16. I, Ishmael comes fast once Isaac is in view. If you can just bow, I will give you everything you didn't need to die. All over the world, people are opting for Ishmael. You know what Ishmael does? Sometimes if you took Ishmael, my God, I don't know why. This, this is serious. I don't know. <laughs> this is serious. Sometimes if you took Ishmael, it doesn't mean the end of your life. But Ishmael would take years from you. Ah. <laughs> hey. Please pray. Maborosh Tagavadash. I ain't no sevre de satire. We came for a meeting, but it's turning to something else. A dead of vele vasu te villa do satafa. Vara vara da shitale baradesha. It's called the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm has eaten. The years God that will restore to you. He said, The Lord is my shepherd. Once he becomes your shepherd again, he said, Abraham, walk thou before me and be thou perfect, and I will make you recover from Ishmael. He said, I restore your soul. Restore your soul. In the name of Jesus. Please sit down. Ah, yeah. Let's get back to class. Mm. Ishmael takes years, man. Ishmael takes years. He ushers you into a, a season of quietness, spiritual inactivity, dormant heavens. And then God comes again and says, Abraham, walk thou before me. Even though Ishmael is in view, as let me tell you something, there's no matter how you do it, you will have to carry Ishmael till you die. Mm. Yeah, because Ishmael is also blessed. Yes, yes, yes. You can't destroy Islam. Ishmael is blessed. But I will, I will empower you that the son of the bondwoman will not be partaker with the son of the promise. And I will birth Isaac through you in such a way that the, the, that which is born of you shall overcome. You will cast out the bond woman and her son that they will not inherit the promise. Isaac, in Isaac shall your seed be called. And that's why when God was coming in Genesis 22-23, he said, give me your only son. Because Ishmael was struck from the register. When I talk about struck from the register, listen to me. When I talk about struck, when I talk about struck struck from the register, listen to me. If you read Genesis chapter 5 verse 2, 
And that's Genesis chapter 5. And that's where you started reading the Bible from. You will never see any traces that there was ever a Cain and Abel. Because from that point, no, Genesis chapter 5, verse 1, sorry. From that point, from verse 1, from that point, said this is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man in the likeness of God made him, go forward to verse 2. Go forward to verse 3. Adam lived 130 years and begat a son. A son. Nothing be before then. Nothing before then was said I correct register again. Nothing before then. A son. They started Genesis again. A son in his own likeness after his name and called his name set. No reference to Cain and Abel. There's a way God will walk in your life, eh? and your mistakes will not, will not, will not, will not, will not be traceable. Ah! I don't know who God is talking to, to this morning. There's a way God will say, There's an eraser in God. Look at this scripture. Who will ever believe that there were two children before this? And they, they said, these are the generations of Adam. And by verse 3, they said, he begat a son. And they traced genealogy from there. If you don't know what that means, go back to Matthew chapter 1. Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 1 verse 1. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 1 verse 1. This, this message is growing long. I don't... I, 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 is is that the, the book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham? You cannot find Adam in the history of Jesus. He started from Abraham. Later in Isaiah, he said, Your father Abraham. He didn't say Adam. God will deal with your past. Amen. Can you just pray for 30 seconds? Labrado shatter. Let him know how he wants to do it. A carado shatter. You know, the prophetic word for this season in SOV is a new day. You know, God, there, 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 there's a difference between the former me and the new. Aya, and the new me. The new will be so configured, there will be no traces of the past inside. We tap into these experiences in the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, my time, they have warned me now. What do I do? By faith, Moses refused. He refused what looks like what looks like is manageable. He refused. He refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. It would have been an achievement. Moses could have been Pharaoh. He refused it because he saw something bigger. Moses, by faith, forsook. It takes faith to live. It takes faith to leave a bed in hand. <laughs> Moses forsook Egypt. He left it. By faith, Moses forsook. These are things we get by faith. How many have you written now? You can't count. Ten. Thank you for counting. By faith, Moses was hid. Did you see that in your Bible? Moses was hid. That's before forsook. He was hid. Huh? He was hid three months. My sister, sometimes it takes faith to hide things. Have you ever said, do you know that the Lord is going to take a master today? You such people. By faith. By, by, by faith. Incubate. Keep quiet. 
by faith. He said, yeah, but, but, ah, with this kind of thing, you should have it. You should have shouted. He said, mm-hmm. by faith, Moses was hid from those that were killing. By faith. It takes faith to hide. It takes faith to have something to put on Instagram and to keep it. As a word for another day. It will come back there. Ah, ah. What happened? Ah. Praise God. By faith, Moses kept the Passover. By faith, Moses kept. Sometimes we keep things by faith. Let me tell you something. Some of, some of your spiritual routines sometimes it takes faith to keep them after some time that you cannot say anything by faith moses kept the passover by faith we keep routines even though it looks as if it's not yielding by faith we keep moses kept sometimes by faith you hold on to what god has given you by faith by faith. <coughs> By faith. Israel passed through. <laughs> we pass through things by faith. We pass through things by faith. Tap somebody say we pass through things by faith. We don't run away. We don't run away. We pass we don't run away. We don't we pass through it. By faith. We say, God, take it away. But if you don't take it away, we are passing through by faith. It will not kill us. It will not kill us. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell. Things fall by faith. Obstacles fall by faith. By faith, Rahab was saved. We are saved by faith. (laughs) You see what I'm talking about here now? Now look at the, the sweet part of it. These all died in faith, verse 13. Go back to verse 13. Are you reading with me? 1 to verse 13. Hebrews eleven thirteen. 13. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Now listen to me. These all died in faith. They were still in faith when they died and they have not received the promises. And they were still in faith. So what did they collect? So people received promises by faith some people died still in that faith because what was supposed to be given to them is in verse 39. Those, verse, those ones are the people that are referenced in verse 39. Verse 39 says, uh, And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. So sometimes faith delivers the promise sometimes the promise is withheld because of the testimony that's the hard part of it that's the balanced part of it that's the part of it that is harder to preach i'm going to say something that i did not configure here he say it looks it looks bitter but because we must teach the whole counsel of God, otherwise you will raise a, a church that is not balanced. How many people here have wondered how... Let me give you an example. There's a woman in my church that spent all her life on missions. As a matter of fact, she wasn't married. She was spent 
from lepers colony to prisons to to children and wakes up early in the morning from morning till night that's what she did till her old age then she was diagnosed of cancer No, so we need to talk about these things. The first thing is, we told ourselves, if anybody must have cancer, I mean, we we can recommend people to God. (laughs) I mean, I mean, (laughs) in case, I mean, we can recommend. eh? Do you understand? (laughs) <laughs> you can recommend there are people that even uh, for me Instagram self we can even sell it, sell it some people that, that some people yeah uh-huh. they, you know let me not talk too much I said no it should not be this woman I said oh, the devil is right and she stood on her feet she will not go to the hospital she will not do chemo she will not do anything and she was feasting on the word. She was taking fruits and she was saying, This word of God will bring me back. During one of those days, I mean, this is someone that I shed tears anytime I see. Because cancer was in her breast and it had begun to eat. To the point that I was smelling. Even in church, she has to put things. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I will go to as long as I hold her as a lato sat of father. Ha! Ah, no, 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 ah, no. And I and she said, I'm gonna be healed. I'm gonna be healed. The word of God is true. We're standing on it. And I'm gonna be healed. They said she said she's not going to any hospital. The word of God. The word I created heaven and I will be healed. And then on her birthday during one of those days, she said, she burst into tears. And, and I was like, ah, yeah. You know, this very emotional moment for me. My, my wife doesn't even like going near because she just cried. And then she said, please pray for me. There is a meeting in Ilori I used to serve. And I want you to beg God to heal me so that I can serve in that meeting two months time why she was praying for healing was because she wants to help them to serve we were supposed to pray but she just weakened us more and some of us were like just going to go say but god (laughs) can't you see like like we just go to everything and say what are you waiting for and I told my wife, I told everybody, I said, this woman, she will walk out of this thing. She will look at me and said, I'm coming to share my testimony on that water. I said, Auntie, you are coming. That if I, is there, is, it is not possible for you not to come. The cancer grew worse. And I got to a point that just, just as she got her, just, she just got that her. Against her will and take her to the hospital. She, once she got to the hospital, she died. Now, if we don't address that, our theology may not cater for it. And what it does is that it births a set of weakness in faith in the general generality of the church, such that people conclude that God is weak to that regard. But they will never say it. But inside their heart, the next time you tell them somebody has cancer, church, let us pray. Hey! They say, Tor, bow, ah. They say, Father. Even their prayer. They say, ah. They are already crying. Why pray? Because there's a theology that is not balanced. So I kept looking and said, God, why would this woman die? I never understood it until Selma was preaching. And he said, Church, let us teach the body of Christ the truth. It is not every time that faith delivers the promise. Sometimes what faith delivers is a report. 
my god so all god just wanted to eat from that woman was that till death she stood my god do you know what that meant that god was taking more pleasure with the devil showing the devil that even till she dies she will hold on to believe in me and that was what god wanted to eat from her her death was not the issue this all read on that having of no a good report through faith received not the promise and they all died And the Bible says it there in the same faith scripture that some people did not receive. But what they did not receive, he told us. And he also told us what they received. You see that same verse? What are you seeing there? They obtained one, they did not obtain the other. It's the hard part. <laughs> Is the hard part that all God just wanted to use some people's life to showcase is that even till death, let it be in record that I have a species of sons that is, you know, that that was, do you know the, tr the truth of the matter? I know some, some people that obtained the two Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The only reason why they obtained the two was because they did not die in the fire. But by the time they were stepping into that fire, my guy, they had already died. Yes, sir. Because they said, we are not careful. You, you, you don't talk like that if you are not dead. He yes. said, we are not, in other words, we have already signed our obituary. We are fine to die. Yes. If they died in that fire, they will still be recorded in the scriptures. Because by virtue of that defiance, they have set the... What are you talking about? They have set the game. Do you see that scripture? And others refusing to accept deliverance were tortured. He said, no, no, don't worry. Let's just do this. We'll do it. You won't have to. He said, mm -hmm. Testimony. Testimony. In our life walk with God, God establishes with some situations testimony. Some of those testimonies is what we pass down to our children. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That despite the fact that he didn't do this, we hold on to him. Now, people don't like that part. Ah. <laughs> you don't need to like it. <laughs> the guy that they said... Why is this man born blind? Who sinned? Jesus said, nobody sinned. Nobody sinned. Even though I, I, I know that it's not as if they, they, they did not sin at all in their family. <laughs> but, but what was, he was quoted is that this, this blindness is not because they sinned. They said, Kumana, why is this guy, why is this guy fortunate? Why is he born blind? Say, ah, he was born blind. For sample. Hey. Now you can't remove that from our theology and have a balanced gospel. Yes, sir. Yes, you cannot remove it from our theology. Because people are killed in just. And do you know what they said in Revelations? Now I, I've already preached something that is not sweet. <laughs> Even me, I don't like where it's coming out of my mouth. <laughs> but I must preach the whole counsel of God. Except you don't want to hear the truth. If you don't preach this side, and we, we pre preach only that side, then our gospel will not sit well. We'll be querying God. We'll be raising a generation that are saying, there's something, there's something missing. There's something, there's is that there's something fishy about this God. And we can't, they can't trust him because they didn't see the other leg. They entered into the, the uh, bar barking, some of these, uh, I've forgotten the names of this, this place in Joss. Barking Lady or some of these. They entered into their houses and burnt 
burnt them. Christians burnt them alive. And they were burnt. They, they burnt them and they were burnt. Not everybody is Shedrach. Some Shedrach. <laughs> some Shedrach. God received. But they became testaments. If you read Revelation, it says, that they let the blood of the saints that, that wait for the remainder of their brethren who should also be killed like that. Can somebody pick it for me? If you know where it is. I said, they, they should wait for it because some other people are still going to be killed like that. They will not be delivered. They will not, sir. They will not be delivered. Others refusing to accept deliverance were tortured. So we collect not just promises, sir. What else do we collect? We collect good reports. Let me tell you something. Beyond anything, the Bible says for Noah, he had this one thing. He had this testimony. What was the testimony? He pleased God. He may not have a Benz, but he had testimony. And say, and say, such a pity, such a pity, such a pity, such a pity. That's I'm 35 now. And there's no such a pity, such a pity, such a pity, such a pity. Revelation 6 11. And white robes were given unto every one of them. Some people's robes are white. Mm -hmm. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren. That should be. That should be. In other words, nobody chose to. If they have appointed you, congratulations. Some people are in this list. I don't know whether they are here in this meeting or but <laughs> don't bother rejecting. Don't, 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 don't bother rejecting it. There is no need. Eh, there is no point. Eh? I said, they are and that should be killed as they were. There are some people appointed to be killed as they were. This is this is not Quran. I know if you, if you wait for this to be read inside your service, you, you may wait long. Because <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't, you don't, pre <laughs> don't preach this on Thanksgiving Sunday. <laughs> Who are the people that they're saying they're going to be killed? Brethren. Yes, sir. What's the meaning of brethren? People like us. Brethren. Fellow servants. Not just ordinary people. Not just an ordinary brethren, brethren, fellow servants, some of them ministers. I've been offered to a deity. I am a sacrifice. The life that I live is <laughs> not my own. I am vale vavo zavela daya. So even if he choose to slay me, see what God was looking for in Job was not promises. Was what? A good report. Sometimes it takes you to the valley of the shadow of death where sex is so cheap everywhere. And what it's trying to showcase is my servant. Behold my servant. And he goes to the devil, have you seen my servant? He's just enjoying the fact that you are holding on. Even when there is nothing to hold. And you are becoming a sweet smelling sacrifice to God. You are pleasing God even though you are irritating men. The life that I live is not my own. Is an honor to be wasted, Lord. On you. You know the kind of song is that. <laughs> Please, Pastor, don't sing. So don't sing. It depends on the gospel you want to listen to. We must not preach what our fathers did not hand over to us. What are we teaching now? We're teaching faith. You can see faith now. You can see that faith. Faith is obtaining promises. You can get your car. You can get your house. The same faith. 
Il va faire le savate. <laughs> should be killed. Should be. The way they are to die is that they are to be killed. As they and they, those guys need to wait for them to complete the list. Mm. Sir? The little while. For yet a little season. They, until they are fellow. Um, Hebrews 11, verse 33. Who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises. Can you see? They obtained promises. They stopped the mounts of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, while villains in fight, turned to flight the enemies of aliens. Women received their dead raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockings. So cruel mockings. Cruel mo There is mocking. There is cruel mocking. You are not the only one, sir. There is mocking. That's mocking. There is cruel. <laughs> there is cruel mocking. Cruel mocking. And scourgings. Bonds and imprisonment, they were stoned, sir. And the stone landed on them. The angel did not collect it. They were stoned. And they were stoned, stoned. They were sawn asunder. In other words, they were cut into pieces. And they cut. By faith. Same faith. <laughs> they were tempted. Hi. They were tempted. Are you tempted? They were tempted. They were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented. They were tormented. They wandered in deserts and in mountains, in dens, in caves of the earth. By faith. If we are preaching, let us preach it well. Yes, sir. They obtain promises. We get the harvest. You know, I told, taught you in the beginning what we get by faith, what we, what we receive. I said harvest, promises, good report. Testimony. So you, that's is that kind of dozier that those guys were trained with, like Shadrach was trained with. There, I said, even if he does not deliver us, that means we have opportunity to collect the promise, but he can choose not to give us the promise and give us the other side, which is a good report. We will rather collect the good report than to consider bowing to you. We need to raise Christians like that. Yes, Who can die in faith? <laughs> Who can die in faith? Now, why is it Someone says, Sir, Pastor, if you are in my shoes, there is no way you will not borrow money. Who can die in faith? Yes. Pastor, but portal is closing tomorrow. If I don't get that school, I, I used to get, when we used to do ladies' camp, I get all kinds of manners of emails. Once we finish ladies' camp like this, and people come and they eat, 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 they just believe that Pastor Shegu has money. I have money, actually. <laughs> in faith currency. Yes, yes, sir. Somebody now sent me an email. Say, Pastor, our porter have not paid my school fees. Our portal is closing tomorrow, next week, and exams is starting. Pastor, you are the one that said we should do sexual purity. The only people that <laughs> said they are going to give me money is my uncle, my, my own, own uncle around me, and one and one lecturer. He said he will pay all the money. And he has been on my neck since. And Pastor, you said we should do such a purity. Pastor, Pastor, come to my aid so that I will not depurify de de the sexual purity. <laughs> and I say, believe God. He said, Pastor, Pastor, portal is closing. Portal is closing. And I'm like, excuse me. Why not put our clothes? Sometimes you will not spark the faith to deliver the promise until you hold the faith to hold the testimony. Let God begin to see it in your mind that even if you will not give me your husband, we die here. 
you know what you have done by doing that? You 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 disable the enemy. Yes, sir. God looks at the enemy and says, So why why are you holding her again? <laughs> What's the point? Why should I allow you to just waste her? Because what you are trying to achieve is that if I press this person well, well, they just deny you. He said, this one, you to see. See the heart. This one is going to die like this. I will not go and marry an infidel. And I will not change the standards of the faith that I've learned for anything. If you leave me like this, you waste me like this. But I will not leave you. Excuse me, sir. I am sorry, but we need to raise Christians like that. Yes, sir. At a point, I looked at the guy and I said, What if put her close? And it becomes your testimony. Do you know that kind of person now? In the next, in the next 10 years, it's not how fast you are left school that determines how fast to become something in life. I hope you know. Yes. Eh? Eh? Some of us have left school. We have left. <laughs> I've left school. We have left school. It's not how fast you leave school. <laughs> Sometimes you leave school, you wish you have not left. Because your shame is still covered. Do do you understand what I'm talking about? What if that person lost two years? And God can save and God said, mm, I want to build a testimony. Hey, so I say, Pastor, 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 why are you talking like this now? I want to build a testimony so that I can have somebody to show the world. The next time someone is saying, hey, God, I, God, I, God, I, God, I trust that God. God did not say, God, say, what do you trust that God? You trust that God. God did not say I had sexual offers for two and a half years. They have transferred the money to my account at a point in advance. I returned it. I said, if God will not deliver me, I don't want. That's how people dog their faith. The thing is that by the time it now starts working, ha, Hey! Things that are pa- passed through fire don't get burnt. Yes, sir. When that person says, believe God, he knows what he's saying. He says, what are you talking about? When I tell you, believe God, shut up. I know what I'm talking about. Suddenly, one God will rise up for that person. He has to pay for the process. He does. Because it's not as if he could not save he kept it for a report and he has to beautify the report so that the report will become volatile. Will spread faster. He will set it on a hill. When God gives you a report, he has to create a stand to showcase the report. Hey, Jesus Christ. Kaladosh. When God gives you a report, he creates a stand to showcase the report for others to emulate. You people, we have far to go. Then this faith has a working requirement. For you to work out faith, you ha- it has a knowing requirement. Look at the requirements. The requirements of faith. I think there's a slide on that. The requirements of faith. The working requirements of faith. It has a hearing requirement. It has a, it has a, uh, a knowing requirement. It has a hearing requirement. It has a seeing requirement. It has a speaking requirement. He has an action requirement. He has a patience requirement. And he has a following requirement. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? So knowing, for example, the Bible says, he daily loaded us with benefit. So you need to know before you can say, give us our daily bread. You, you, you see the two sides. One side says, he daily loaded us. Then another says, Jesus now taught them, he said, look, ask for, give us this day. He didn't just say give us. He said, give us when? This day, our daily bread. 
You don't ask for what you don't know. You have to know that it's available. You have to know that they, they load daily supplies in the store to access daily supplies. Otherwise, they will be loading, offloading, loading, offloading, loading, offloading, and you will die poor. There are benefits loaded for today, sir. For those who come today. Mm. What did I just say now? There are benefits loaded for today. Uh -huh. For those who come to the store today. Give us this day. This day. Everybody say this day. This day. This day. The benefits are accruing to me. You're not talking. You're not talking. You said that, 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 say give you because you said, hey, let's call it the one for this week. Give us this day. This thing is plenty. It's plenty. It's plenty with your father. It's plenty, sir. It's plenty with your father. He daily loaded. Load. load. You see that scripture alone. If you sit down with it, eh, the, the way you wake up every day is different. He says, since you load it, you have you have, it's work now. Nah. His work. He daily loaded. And yet you can be loaded. Not even know. Not even have load. And you are loaded. Because you can be inside the rain and be covered. He daily loaded us with blessings. So he has a knowing requirement. You have to know that you were healed to insist on healing. And the fact that you read it doesn't mean you know. <laughs> to move it from the text to the, non, to, the, to the knowing is a process of eating, digestion, sometimes regurgitation, taking it in, knowing it. Until you know it, you don't lay your hands on it. You don't know it by just saying it. It's part of the process. But you, you knowing it, until you know it, you can't claim it. You can't go to the bank and ask for 5,000, 5 million naira withdrawal. Can you go there now to your account? Do you have 5 million in your account? You don't have 5 million. Can you go to GT Bank and ask for 5 million now? But I may have transferred five million, and you don't know. So you can be crying for lacking the five million, <coughs> and it's in your account, and you can't go and ask for it just because you don't know your app is not working and your SMS is not delivering. But you have the money, but you can't ask because you don't know. Sometimes you labor to know. So that you can ask. Go to conferences, go to seminars, listen to messages, die. Somebody told me that uh, I should help him to copy a hard drive into his system that contained uh, 500 messages of Bishop Oedipo. I, I should help him to copy. I said, I will copy. Ah, I like copying this kind of thing. <laughs> I copied it first <laughs> to, to my to my hard drive and then I copy to him. I said thank you. If you have more things to copy, I will copy. I sat down with it and ate those messages for days. Blasting in my ears. Hearing and hear some messages. I listened to one message from ten PM to five AM. One. It was on repeat. I did not say song. It's not Nathaniel Baxi. It's, it's, it's message. One message. Repeat. Repeat. Ten to five. Repeat. Till he, he said the, the, the word entered into me until he asked leg. Hey. Yes. When I stood up that morning and I, 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 it was about the miraculous, I was looking for miracle to miracle. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> I was so drunk. I mean, I, 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 you know, the, the next place, place I went to preach, even me, I told myself that, ah, cool down. Now. 
<laughs> you are not bishop. Because I, I was literally, you know when I, you have heard somebody for seven hours, I was literally speaking, I was like, what? <laughs> what? I, I, was, I, was like, I was like, what? The demon is like, <laughs> that guy, I could have said, like, but the result was the same. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, the spirit entered into me. What he does there, he will do there. It takes, it takes labor to know. It has a knowing requirement, it has a hearing requirement. The hands of the Lord are not short that he cannot save. As he said, and he will not make it good. That means you cannot say he did not make it good until he has said. What you can only accuse God of not doing is what he has said, not what he wrote. Not what he said to Zerubbabel. Are you Zerubbabel? <laughs> say, say unto the Zerubbabel that the, the mountain shall become. Are you Zerubbabel? They said the Zerubbabel. They, until the word is lifted from Zerubbabel and addressed to you, until it becomes a spoken word. You can't hold God for what he has not said. What did he say? Yeah, God, I, I'm, I'm seeing what he said. What did he say? As he said, the first question we have to ask you is that what have you heard? You labor to hear. Why do we fast? We fast to hear. We pray to hear. When God responds to our request, he responds with a word. And it is the word we hold. Then he has a seeing requirement. What are you seeing? So you see God trying to configure Abraham's sight. He said, look at the stars. Your, your, your perspective, your worldview, your exposure matters. Are you getting what I'm talking about now? Somebody is talking about giving out 100 million. Giving. Your, your, your perspective, your worldview, your exposure, your sight, your seeing must be configured properly. He says, have you read that scripture in the Bible? Says, Solomon, what do you see? Yes. God checking, what do you see? What, eh? God checking, what are you seeing? What do you see? What do you see? Because you can only see what you have seen. What do you see? Do you see yourself getting married? Do you see yourself having a good family? Do you see yourself? Ah, marriage, because marriage, man. Marriage is for everybody just managing their own. Because God can't help you beyond what you see. The best He can do is to help you repaint what you are seeing and show you properly. Because you are you, you, the technology of the production of the copy is a function of what you are seeing. You must see well. What do you see? What do you see your children becoming? What do you see? What do ask me? What do I see my children becoming? My God, I see this. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I see you. What, what do you see? Some people have not even used their eyes. Talk less of what, what do you see? <laughs> what do you see? What, uh, you, you mean you are going through these terrible times in this country and you are not seeing anything? What are you seeing? What are you seeing? What are you seeing? What are you seeing? Son of man, what do you see? What do you see about your marriage? What do you see? What do you see about your destiny, your future, your children, your family, your business, your career, your becoming, your global status? What do you see? What do you see you becoming in your lineage? What do you see? Parade kushakata. What do you see? What do you see? I can't help you if you cannot see. I can only help you to see pictures. That's why I say, son of man, go to the potter's house. I need to help you to see well that something can spoil in my hands and, and I can make it better. You need to see it. The message is growing long. It has a speaking requirement. You cannot believe something and speak something different. You cannot be saying some rubbish. You cannot speak rubbish. You cannot speak. You cannot miss. You cannot miss your hand. <laughs> you, can, you cannot speak rubbish. You cannot speak nonsense. You can't speak idly. You cannot speak normal. 
You cannot speak in line. Your speaking cannot, cannot align with their speaking. You cannot say the same words they are saying. Our vocabulary is different. Our source of diction is different. Our source of words is different. Our word checking engine is different. Any word doesn't come out of your mouth except it passes through your heart. You speak the right things. I speak the right things. Say, I speak the right things. 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 I speak possible. I speak greatness. I speak the right things. I speak the right things. It has a speaking requirement. It has an action requirement. You don't believe and don't act. And it has a patience requirement. The Bible says, follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise. For you, for, it says, for you have need of patience. For after you have done the will of God, you might obtain the promise. So there is an after to it. There's something you must do to, to, in obedience to God's instruction. And then you obtain. You understand? You, but you have need of patience. After you have done the will of God is where you start the patience. Do you understand what I'm talking about now? Patience starts after you have done it. You know, God say, I'm going to take you to UK. I'm going to do this. And, and then he says, go and serve on that, this man. And you have not gone to serve. And he say, I'm patiently waiting. You have not started patience. <laughs> your, your patience has not started counting. That thing you are doing is not patience. You are still in disobedience. So when you have fulfilled obedience, then you now start counting patience. After you have done the will of God. There's a following requirement. They follow them. You must follow those who through faith and patience are obtaining because other people are obtaining it through other means apart from faith and patience. He said, follow those who, who, who are using this route to obtain it. Faith and patience. People who built their ministries through faith and patience. And they have a track record of disaster. Follow them. Through people, through people who can say, my church was once two people. And yet now there are 5,000. Follow them who through faith and patience obtain. They use patience with their faith. After obtaining the will of God. The people you work with matter with your faith life. Did you? Did you? Okay. The ABC of faith. Uh, I, where a, a, you can see that. Actually, when they say, faith begins when the will of God is what? Revealed. So we are teaching faith because it is the equipment by which we do what? We receive the promise. What are the things we receive? We receive harvest. We receive promises. And we receive good report. Good testimony. Okay, so faith begins when the will of God is revealed. Uh, and then it says, you find that, that A, where A there stands for, uh, act, act, uh, this, uh, actually it's act, believe, confess. Okay? So, look at that. Look at the chart there. It says, decoder. The decoder there is the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Follow me. The decoder there is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one that decodes the will of God to your heart. If that spirit, whoever has not the spirit of God, is none of his. That's what the Bible says. And so God can be speaking and you will not even hear. The things that, 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 that the, spirit, the, the Spirit is giving to us, that we might know the things that are freely given to us. You have to know the things that are freely given to you before you ask for the things that are freely given to you. You should not be asking for triplets when they give you twins. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Asking becomes finer when you know what you are asking for is in the store. For you. Excuse me, sir. When you check your phone and you see five million in your alert, how do you walk to the bank? Begging? Do you beg the cashier? When the cashier says, please, I, do, I, I don't think you have this kind of money in your account. <laughs> the guy is already fighting. He's still here. <laughs> so the way you pray is different when you know.
Let me tell you the truth. Beggars don't know. Sometimes when somebody is begging God, he doesn't know. You are begging because you don't know whether it's available. So you are begging. God, I beg you. Urgent to key. God, I beg you. I beg you now. God, you dead yet? Are you see me? You see me like this? God, uh, are you God? A, B, C, or I believe, confess. So the Holy Spirit decodes. When he decodes it to you, you have to believe it. When you believe it, you have to speak it. It is speaking voice activated. You have to speak it. The money is coming. The house is coming. Our peace is sorted. <laughs> this marriage is going to be fine. You know the revelation of Abraham? God changed Abraham to Abraham. But guess what? God did not change Sarah to Sarah. God told Abraham, as for Sarah, your wife, she shall be called. You are the one to do the naming. That revelation changed my life. I get back home and I look at that woman. I call you submissive. The greatest problem men have with women, especially in Africa, is submission. She doesn't submit to me. I've heard that trillion times. And women are even familiar with it. The only problem I have with her. You want to be the head. You want to do this. So you call her stubborn. And she becomes stubborn. Sir, I learned it the hard way. In this kingdom, you don't speak how you feel. You don't speak how you feel. How you feel does not inform what you speak. Because what you speak is going to create how you will be feeling. So I look at her and I start calling her name, new names. I don't say it out to her when she's sleeping. You are submissive. Karabash. You are submissive. You are hospitable. Sometimes I squeeze my face and you are, you are, you are submissive. I call you submissive, submissive. Hospitable. Hospitable. You are loving. You submit to me as unto the Lord. What am I doing? I am creating. I am creating. Using creator language to create. And he said, it was Adam that named his wife. It's Abraham that named. God did not interfere into matrimonial structure. What you call her is what she will be. That's how it has been at the beginning. Call her crazy. I was very, very on to you. Greatest grace she shall be. <laughs> and Adam called her Eve, and Eve was her name. Abraham called her Sarah. That's the last time you heard Sarai in the Bible. You never heard Sarai. It's not like Jacob that he was oscillating between Israel and Jacob, Israel and Jacob, Israel and Jacob. When he said Sarah, that was it. You never heard Sarai again. Sarai. Sarai. Is that me, let me call it my own way. Sarai. Sarah. Sarah is it? Sarah it is. And he called her Sarah and she became Sarah. And he called her Eve and she became Eve. What are you calling her? Weary. And she became Weary. The reversion. <laughs> Useless woman. Run, run away from naming ceremonies from husbands that don't know the truth. Sometimes you may need to beg the person or find a way for the person to learn. If you don't have what to say, don't talk. Or you need to start dodging like David in Saul's palace. Whenever Saul is about to throw Javelin. 
by faith we dodge. Don't provoke a man that pronounces evil. Just leave him. Whatever they called her, she was. Because Adam named everything and whatever he named them, they were. Watch out from that mouth. Stop naming your children bad names. Useless boy. Stupid boy. That's naming ceremony. Naming ceremony. Idiot. Naming ceremony. Naming ceremony. Good for nothing. Lazy. Say you are behaving lazy. It's different from you are lazy. <laughs> Don't name a child lazy. So that next time you say, oh, why, 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 are you, why, why are you so lazy? I say, well, that's my name. That's what you call me when you call my name. Laziness becomes possible. <laughs> Watch your mouth. Confess it. When you confess it, you act on it. You start acting on what, what's going on. And you, when you act on it, you receive it. But there's a bigger chart to it. There, 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 there's the life cycle. Let, let me see the life cycle of it. There's a bigger chart. And I will close there. I didn't know I would be able to flow chart of faith. I don't know if we're able to get there. Get there. So you see, the seed is the word of God that comes to your spirit. When it comes, when you, when you get the word, it comes to your spirit. That the word, the seed. Then you start interacting with that word, that promise. You believe in it. You pray through. All right? When you get the word, you pray through. That's why Elijah went to go and pray. Uh, after he said, the rain will come. Yes, sir? He, he was interacting with the promise. You pray through until you enter into a rest where you feel as if the prayer is answered. At that point, you move into heartfelt confessions. You start speaking it. And then while you are speaking it, an inspiration will come. You know that what God begins to inspire you with other people. Sometimes that's when you hear that your cousin Elizabeth. Do you understand? To inspire the faith. Listen to testimonies. And then you begin to call, take, take, take steps of faith in that reaction. As you are taking these steps of faith, when your promise is about to be delivered, an instruction will come find out everyone that obtained the promise. There was always an instruction that led to that promise delivery after they obeyed that instruction. When your promise is about to be delivered, watch out for instructions. Once you move into a phase where God starts now giving instructions, then you know that the promise is close. Then you have to move into obedience immediately. As you move into obedience, it's and you now, now get to that scripture that says, after you have done the will of God, you have need of patience. And from patience, that place is not say, I haven't done all to stand. That means that that junction, you have done every requirement needed to get, the only thing you are doing now is just waiting for God to deliver. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then patience, and then you kick into receiving. Father, in the name of Jesus, let's pray this. Thank you, Jesus, for the word. 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 Can you pray in the Holy Ghost again? Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, now listen. Now, listen. There is what you call the gift of faith and the spirit of faith. All right? That is an endowment, especially for the miraculous. Sometimes when people spoke things that are very heavy, it was because at that moment they were filled with the, with the spirit of faith. And then they spoke. And then he bats things. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we sat, sat before your word today, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Let the word birth life. Let the word become flesh. Go ahead. Let the word become flesh. 
Let the word become flesh. Can we pray in the Holy Ghost? Just one more minute. Rana Sikra Devedosh. Give me more volume. Let the word become flesh. Let the word become flesh. Let the word become flesh. Lord, let the word become flesh. 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 Arabalabadosha. Let the word become flesh. Labadabadosha. Ayaya. These things will not be stories. We are reading out. It will be things, testimonies we are sharing. Let the word become flesh and dwell among men. Let the word become flesh. Let my wife, let my life testify. Let people read these things in me. Let my people understand. Let people study me and study these things in me. In the name of Jesus, let my experiences burst these things, prove these things. Let the word become flesh. Let the word become flesh. And dwell among men. And in him was light, and the light was the true light that lighted every man that cometh into the world. Let the light, oh God, shine in darkness, and the darkness comprehend. Let everything bow down to this light. Every previous experiences, let them bow down to this light. Let the former bow down to the new. Let the older serve the younger. Hey, let this new one rule the first one. Thank you, Father. Let my experiences now, oh my God, dominate the, the previous ones. New experience, new life, new life, new life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And beloved church of God, if there's going to be revival in this nation, we need people that will blow the seven trumpet everywhere with the right sound. Your sound is not my sound. <laughs>